Digital Bay. Next up, please welcome. It's Uncle Pippin. Come on, Uncle Pippin. Ernest. How's everybody doing tonight? All right, we're going to give a shout out to Pete. Give me a chance. Help me stop break the law. Let me come up on stage and everything. You know what I'm saying? Cut the mic off. Everybody give a shout out to Bruce Bruce's little brother. Big Bruce Bruce. He in the building. Uh, <laughs> hey, listen, though. I'm going to give a shout out to Pete, man. I'm really nervous. There's a lot of white people up in here. Last time I sat in front of a lot of white people like this, I had to convince them I wasn't guilty. <laughs> hey, I see a few black people in here, too. Looking at the crowd, y'all look like a bowl of oatmeal with raisins in the middle. <laughs> hey, but y'all hard on a brother out here too, man. I was on my way up in here, man, and I went over to McDonald's to get me a sandwich real quick, cause you know, I, I get nervous messing with Pete. You know, Pete the type of person you don't want to piss him off. He got friends that don't give a fuck. They gonna blow up everybody. Ooh, did I say the bro? <laughs> hey, but anyway, I love you, Pete. Don't cuss me out about that one, man. I had to get you for you that little joke you made when I came in. I had to get you back. But anyway, listen though. I, I went over next door, man, to get me a sandwich right. And, and the Kaga Falls police, y'all hard on the brother out here, man. It was a dude over there, black dude. He was on a skateboard, right? And all he had was just the torso, all the, all the bottom half gone, so. Right, so we walking out of McDonald's together. Notice I said we're walking out together, right? So, I, he asked me if I had a light. I said, I'm parked across the street. I said, come on, we go over to the car and get one, right? So since I, you know, no, I, I, I really don't mean this personally, but since I got legs, I made it across there quick, right? The police didn't see me. So I'm over there getting the light. I look up, I'm like, come on, man, come on. So he, <laughs> Police blow down on us like cause they seen me, you know, I'm noticeable out here. They seen me cause they didn't see him, he was low, right? So when they saw me, they blew down on us and tell me why they wrote him a ticket for jaywalking. <laughs> the hell, y'all hard on a brother out here, for real. You know what I mean, you know what I'm saying? Uh, for real though, the last time I was really in front of a a lot of white people like this, though, I was at, they sent me to Firestone in 1974. <laughs> you know, that's when they started making the black people go to school with white folk. Y'all didn't know how to lock shit up either. Y'all would just leave your purses around and shit. Knowing I ain't got nothing but a lunch ticket in my pocket. <laughs> and you gonna leave your purse around. But my mama didn't give me six or seven dollars or three, four dollars when I went to school. She gave me a kiss and some ass fizzity. <laughs> Only black folks know what that is. You know that section that? You know, y'all don't get it. Y'all y'all just see y'all kids out. Y'all don't care. Put them on leashes. I, I, I'd rather y'all do it like we used to do. Just beat the hell out of them. Because you know, when we was coming up, we'd get a whooping from anybody. You know what I mean? The neighbors would bring you home. I just had to whoop uh, Uncle Pimpin's little ass. He was just up in here doing all this, talking to all the women and everything. And, get you, and then when you get there, you get another ass whooping by your, by your mama or somebody. White folks don't do that. I seen one white little kid wasn't no bigger than this year and told his mama to shut up. I'm still limping for just looking at my mama crazy. The last time I did something, I still got a limp from that. You know what I'm saying? Mamas don't play, man, for real. You know what I'm saying? This is a hard section over here. I ain't seen y'all laugh one time. Y'all hard as hell. Harder than Chinese math. Let me, let me turn on some of my pimping skills. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Dang. Uh-oh, I done turned into a pimp. Look at it. Hey, soon as I did that, you know, a little voice in my head said, Snowflake, Snowflake, Snowflake. There's a lot of white women in here. <laughs> I got a white pimp, he's my friend though. He said, he, 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 like I told him, when I, when I see a lot of white women, that's what go off in my head, snowflake, snowflake. 
he told me what go off in his head is oompa, 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 oompa. That's what happened when he see a lot of black women because all he think about is the chocolate factory. Oh, you gonna get started on you. Hey, listen, I ain't gonna get started but he gave me a hard look. I know how to fight real good, and I'm on probation. Hey, hey, man, what happened to, uh, dude, uh, you know how they send celebrities to jail and everything? That's what happened to Usher when he go to jail. I ain't gonna point no fingers and no elbow. <laughs> Pete, I'm gone, baby. Hit the lights one more again before I walk past this second. Let me see if I can steal something. <laughs> that is Uncle Pippin. Come on. Right here on work release tonight. It's awesome. Next up. <laughs> D-Bay Radio. Radio. D-B-A-Y dot F-M. You'll find Tuesday night shows live.